Bitch, I'm about to blow up. That's a J. Cole song. It's a J. Cole song. Allahu Akbar! Yeah, come in. Yo, Wilsey. What's up, man? Yeah, not much, man. I'm just on my phone. Alright, um, by the way, have you done your hit piece yet? Oh shit, I almost forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. It's alright, man. It's just, it's Friday and this video needs to get done, so when I get it, I'll be able to edit it and get it up before Wednesday. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'll get it done now. Alright, let me know when it's done. I'll try and edit it as soon as I can. And I'll make sure to get it up. Alright, thanks. See you later. Later, Wellsy. Oh, hey guys. Wellsy here. Back again with another banger video. Hey guys. Hello, Chris here. Before this video starts, just want to say a few things. If some bits of the video is looking different, because Wellesley did them on different days and times. And one of the clips I actually asked him to do during the night because I wanted this done. Also, some clips went missing and I had to help re record them. Also, the SD card kept malfunctioning, so I had to change the SD card. Was So I had to change the SD card again, which was very annoying. So I do apologize in advance for that. Sorry for the inconvenience, and back to the video. So today's video is a little bit different type of content that I don't normally do on this channel. I do apologize if the video is a little bit late, as my SCP video had to come first. I was originally going to have this video before that, but then I changed my mind because it was getting closer to the day I was supposed to upload. So I decided just to have the SCP video first and then this video next week after that. So today's video I am creating a hit piece on a certain YouTuber that everyone knows worldwide. And if you do know this guy, he's been doing YouTube for a very long time. And if you do follow all of his content and everything else that he's been doing, and everything else he'll be doing over the years. Then you know what's going on. For those who are fans of my old channel, remember, I did a video on Fuzzy YouTube around 2018 on how he was a fraud, and he went insane during the July 15th event around 2018. And that video got 276 views at the time I'm recording this video. And I think that this video here can do better than that video that I did five years ago on him. And I'm confident that it will because I did all the research that is required to be able to do this video. And you guys already know what I'm talking about. It's already on the thumbnail. You've seen what it is. So today I'll be talking about this delusional man. No, not that delusional man. This delusional man. So that being said, let's talk about the most delusional man on the internet. FoozyTube himself. So let's begin on where it all went wrong for FoozyTube. So at the start of 2018, FoozyTube promised to have J. Cole and Drake at his event on the 15th of July 2018 called Late Dies Love Arrives. But he was so delusional and tried to manifest Drake and J. Cole being there that J. Cole and Drake didn't even show up but instead had this guy performing. Lit like a big all these bitches on my dick hey. wanna fuck me and they think and you know with the shit so you know I hit cause I'm too legit to quit. quit. Hey, lit mommy, hey, lit puppy, I gotta get lit, come on, let's go. Not gonna lie, it was kind of cringe that he was there at the event and like no one barely cared about the lyrics or the song. But I'm not gonna lie also, it's kind of cringe for me to say, but I kind of like the song. But at the event, he completely lost his mind and went on a huge rant on top of some guy's car. I felt like I was letting God down. News coverage, I got a bomb threat happening. I had Drake come in because I manifested that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. All the traction. Oh. God didn't want it to. I wanted that event to be a success tonight. 
I wanted my picture with Drake. I met Drake last night. I'm looking at you dead in the motherfucking eye. I'm not hiding behind Twitter. I love you. Ever heard of irony? Have you ever heard of like something being told in a certain narrative? So instead of just hearing it on face value, you have to sit down and understand what's being said. You don't read a Nas lyric once. Super hard. When I hated you, I never spoke against you because I said I want to speak to him in real life and have a face to face conversation. Back. What I'm saying isn't hate. I'm just telling you, as a man at 28 years old, what I feel. You made me want to commit suicide last year. I wanted to kill myself because of all the attention you gave me. I re watched videos going viral after the attention you're giving me now of you saying, Boosie is the biggest piece of shit, egotistical asshole on this earth. Yeah. I have bipolar and depression. That what you put into my head made me want to kill myself. Apparently, he offered an amount to this guy to let him jump on top of his car. Eventually, the event was shut down due to a bomb threat that was called in, and the event was inevitably a flop. It's not supposed to be that way, though. It's actually supposed to be completely sold out for a show that was supposed to start at six o'clock but never did. It's a, a YouTuber who I believe goes by the name of Fuzi. So instead, what happened is some kind of generic threat, possibly a prank. There was uh, there was some rumors of possibly a suspicious package or something. So the Greek had to uh, essentially be evacuated. We watched a bunch of uh, frustrated people come out here leaving Griffith Park. Well, he's back. 2018 version of Fuzi Tube has returned. Now he's been doing a lot of crazy shit for the last two or three weeks. Apparently he was supposed to get a kick deal for 50 million dollars. If you don't know what kick is, kick is basically a streaming platform where people stream and it doesn't have many rules. So that's probably why he's allowed to be doing this dumb shit. And he's been actually banned twice on Twitch because of some other dumb shit he has done. But I will talk about that a little bit later in the video. So there have been a few clips floating around on the internet. Doing a lot of shenanigans, doing a lot of antics, like creeping on a drunk girl at an airport. He apparently asked her to kiss her on video to be able to send it to his Discord chat. And then he took her to the bathroom, basically did it with her, if you know what I mean, and said that he was on the Mile Higher Club. Here's the clip for context. I have a Discord, right? With like 8,000 members. Can I send them a picture of me and you kissing? Thank you. I have a boner right now. I swear to God, you can feel it under my pants. I swear to God. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt you with the good time? Would you join the Mile High Club with me? A few minutes later. I just joined the Mile High Club. And I know it doesn't count as the Mile High Club because I was in the airport, but I still joined it. I swear to God. I swear on everything I love. I swear on everything I love. I just joined the mod in the airport, in the men's bathroom. <laughs> I had to confess, I couldn't hold it for a fucking second. The guy who manipulated her and brainwashed her is a piece of fucking shit and deserves to die. I'm against that. I'm a sex addict. Fuzzy, I can't believe you did this. This is disgusting. Why would anyone do this kind of stuff? Only you will do that kind of stuff. Shame on you. But wait, it gets worse from here, believe it. Immediately after when he went to Vegas, he just started acting out, making himself look like a complete idiot, being rude to them. If it was game seven of the NBA Finals and the Risley Bears, we are the starting five, yeah. right? Okay. We're down by two. Got it. And the coach looked at you, he's the coach. Nick, tell them the ball's coming to you. The ball's coming to you. What are you gonna do in that moment? Trip on your shoelaces and let Vegas down? Or is it a pro when you're not from Vegas? Where are you from? No, we're from Canada. 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 Listen, no, 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 no. no listen, 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 oh. listen, listen, listen. Why are you so slow? No, I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I was just at Carabana. I'm sorry. I know, but you're not letting me finish my story. What are you gonna do? You're bringing you up for no reason. Okay, game seven. What are you doing? We're gonna bring What are you doing in that moment? Exactly. Yes. So that's my. So what I'm saying is, this is your G7 moment. There's 0.4 seconds know, left on the clock. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm very, I'm very aggressive. I'm sorry. I'm very aggressive. Oh, do I need it? All right. I'm sorry for bothering you guys. Have a good day. God bless. I'm sorry. Like Fizzy, what are you doing, bro? You're not supposed to be disrespecting people in the street. You're supposed to be nice to people, not like be rude to them. Say, oh, this and this and this. It's just not cool, bro. 
Next clip I'm going to show you guys, he actually said the n-word on stream and he said he'd never done that before. Here's the clip. I never use that word, I swear to fucking god this isn't content. I never use that fucking word. I've listened to rap songs every day on this subathon, and I always change it out for brother. You guys probably think, oh wait, that was completely racist, you can't see that on stream. Well you see, he apparently never had done it before, and, and it's not like him at all, it's out of character. He never says anything like that, but I'm not a fan of him. I don't believe anything he says. Next thing he did, he apparently slapped two people, two kids. They're not really kids, they're like 19 years old and what is he like, 30, 34 years old? What grown ass man slaps people? Anyway, he slap. anyway, he sprays Jack Doherty with water and slaps him. And he also slaps Neon, and he also called him this word that I can't say, but I'm going to show you the clip for context. He doesn't even have his kick money yet. Yo, you're fucking... I'm beta. I'm actually 33 years old. I'm beta. Hey, yo, get me some water bottles, John. Give me some fucking... You're lucky yo. I made friends with your security. Hey, now we can't box. Hey, now we can't box. There's a whole... Oh. Oh. You oh. suck like a bitch, too. I slapped the that dog didn't, shit out of you. That didn't even hurt. I slapped the dog shit out of you. You punch like a bitch. I, I slapped the dog. Five fingers to the face. You put like a bitch. I'm just calling him what he is. He's a Mexican, bro. What are you trying to say by that? Why call him for why would he? Nah, here we go, this shit. No, seriously, dog. Do I call you an Indian? You could. I don't give a fuck. But I won't. Because if I said that and disrespect you, you are Indian. But I'm not going to call you out of your name and say that. So would you get mad? It's like this, you dirty Arab. That's not bad. Don't call a Mexican a Mexican like that. You let words get to your head, bro. No, because words matter. No, they don't. Yes, they do. Actions matter. If I punch you in the face, then it's bad. Neon, Neon, the shit you say behind your computer, your keyboard, where you feel safe, you're going to get your ass beat when a real one comes up to you. Still waiting for the day. Still waiting for the day. It's never going to happen, I promise you. You just manifested and you tell the universe what's not going to happen. You really do. If you say, I hope I don't get an accident. I hope I don't get fat. I hope I don't, my girl doesn't cheat on me. The universe gives you exactly what you said you don't want to. It doesn't hear what you don't want. It just hears what you say. You think you're so you just have, I am smart. You think you're perfect. You're, you're not. not. You're far from perfect. You got fucked up ass. I think I'm perfect. You said you were going to fucking do that. I dude. think I'm perfect. I just prayed and cried to Allah and asked him for forgiveness for all my shortcomings and sins. Respect your fucking elders and get the fuck out of my house. I don't give a fuck about your content or the island boys. If you want, go suck their fucking dicks. Let them fuck you cream pie style, you fucking faggot. What the hell, Fuzi? You just can't do that. That's messed up. What are you thinking? And you can't just slap people for no reason. What the hell's wrong with you? Also, calling Neon that word is disgusting. He is 19 years old, dude. And what? You're like 30, 34 years old? That's just disgusting, bro. So this next clip, he apparently fired his assistant for being emotionally abusive. Here's the clip. Like, as a grown person, you're 28 years old, I'm 33, you're not a kid like Nadia. Do you think it's fair for me to be abused while- Abused? You're gonna use that word? Really? Yeah, that's emotionally abusive. Alright, this conversation is done as well. If- no, listen why. Listen why. That's just listen not why. fair. Listen why. I'm actually- I'm if protecting you. Listen you. To no, me, then please why listen. Why do I have to listen to you? If a woman feels like she's getting emotionally abused by me, I'm gonna call myself out. Cut the line, have a good day. But why would you not want to resolve because it? Because I'm emotionally abusing you. I don't want to emotionally abuse a woman. Fuzzy 2, you went too far. You disrespected her. What are you talking about? Bro, let us speak. Stop being a hypocrite. Fuzzy 2, you went too far. You disrespected her. What are you talking about? Bro, let us for more and then she'll die too well gotta go i'm almost at the bridge now oh shit i forgot how am i supposed to send this shit out yeah. what the f are you doing bro what kind of shit are you trying to pull you're not just endangering yourself, but you're endangering other people on the road. Stop being a degenerate. 
get off the phone, drive properly, and start doing this shit because one day you're just going to get yourself killed. But that's not all. In this clip he actually says something completely crazy. And I'm going to show you the clip right here. Bitch, I'm about to blow up! That's a J. Cole song. It's a J. Cole song. Allah Akbar! Bro, what the hell are you saying? You just can't say it in an airport in front of millions of people. That's messed up. And I'm surprised he wasn't arrested for being a terrorist. But here's the worst thing that has happened to him that he has done that was completely insane. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Wait, 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 let me put you on speaker. Hold on. Hey, what's up? What'd you say? Yo, I'm Gamble. I'm the guy that was calling your mom and, and sister and brother and shit. I think one of your fucking friends got me banned on kick. You know we have your address. We have your number, we have everything. Oh, you like doxing too. Hey, I know where you are right now and I live here, buddy. Come over here, bitch. I swear to God, I'll kill you. I swear to God, you pull up to my house right now, I'll stick a knife 10, uh, 10 feet in your fucking throat. I literally fucking slice it down to your penis and chop it off. Yes. There's a gun to my head right now. There's a gun to my head. Help, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, he left. Ma'am, he left. There's a gun to my head. Help, help, get them. Help, bye. Ma'am, Intercontinental, what's my room number? Help, tell me. 2027. Dog, I'm live streaming. I'm the most famous guy on the internet right now. Okay, cool. So a guy I'm calls my, he calls my mom yesterday okay. and says I'm going to slit your throat. He calls yeah, to my mom. Okay. To, no, my mom's throat. Okay. He calls my room today. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's me again. Remember me? Mm -hmm. He posted a video, he was on live yesterday calling my mom, I have his face, everything recorded. He goes, remember me? He threatened my life tonight. He said exactly where I am out loud, room, everything. I literally told him, if I see you, I'm sticking a knife nine inches in your neck and I'm sliding it down your penis. He gave me his address. And how does he know where you're staying at? I don't, he's a stalker. Okay, and who is this guy? I don't, don't know fucking know. So how do you want us to look for him if you don't know where he is? I have his address. What is his address? I said grab my security 20 minutes ago. You guys are dumb as fuck, man. You guys are literally dumb as fuck. Oh, yeah. Hey, record this. Security, come in here now. They told me to stay outside. I can't come inside. Yo, for my protection, come in here. I can't come inside. They told me he can't inside. come in? I cannot. Y'all are fucked. I'm suing all y'all. My life is in danger and you arrest a Palestinian Muslim who's viral? Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? Do you like your job? You're fucked. Hey, free Fousey! Hashtag free Fousey! Hashtag free Fousey too. What the fuck are you on about, Fousey? No one cares about your scary ass. Apparently he wasn't actually arrested. He was taken to a hospital where he had a mental health assessment and he will be released after 24 to 72 hours. But be my opinion, I know this is just my opinion, but he's not gonna change. He's just gonna go back to being a complete moron because he's addicted to being rich and famous online. And he actually has fallen off after the July event that eventually just flopped. But now he's coming back into relevancy because of his antics that he's been trying to do. But now he's coming back into relevancy because of the antics he's pulling. And he's willing to cling on to any relevancy as much as he can so he doesn't become irrelevant again. And kids shouldn't make any more excuses for all the shitty behaviour he has done on their platform. And when they're giving him big deals like this, they just let him run around and act like a complete moron. Because all Kick is doing is just rewarding him for his shitty behaviour. And of course he's going to be doing more of this shit. Of course he's going to do it bigger because he's a complete moron. Because he gets rewarded for this kind of shit and then no one's doing anything about it. Not even Kick is doing anything about it. And if no one can stop him from doing all this stuff, then no one else is going to. I know Kick won't do it. It's just going to end bad for Fuji too. But he didn't even get that Kick deal because all this shit he pulled. So that's a good thing I guess. So FuziTube, listen up. I know I'm a you. So FuziTube, listen up. I know I'm a small YouTuber, but I'm here to tell you: do not go back on Kick until you get some help. Because if you don't, you're just gonna hurt yourself or hurt other people. And eventually, you, 
if you keep doing this shit, you're just gonna get yourself killed. So that's pretty much the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing, turn on those post notifications, make sure to click all for when I upload, which is weekly on Wednesdays. Also make sure to smash the like button. Also go check out all my videos. They're in a playlist. They're in the description down below, in the title cards above, or at the very end screen. Go check out all my other type of content that I do. I do vlogs. I do unboxings, I do reactions, and that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, I'll get a message for you, Boozy too. Stop it. Get some help. Alright guys, peace! Her body's go like September. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try forgetting, I remember. But we say we all fine, we all fine. Sunny day dreams and we up now. Eliminate, I serve it up